Hey guys, what's up? I didn't expect to put out this video, but I'm getting a little bit frustrated with something, so I'm just going to throw this out now, and the next stupid comments I get on this matter, I'm just going to redirect them to this vid. I'm sort of reminded a little bit of the historian Tong Ho, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right. He was someone who lived in the early 20th century China. He was a martial artist, but more than that, he was a martial arts historian who took it upon himself to study the history of martial arts in China and to do his best to strengthen its practice and the spread of it throughout his country. But because of his meticulous attention to detail, as well as his um, desire to get rid of all the BS in his favorite art, he made a lot of enemies because he told the truth. One of his most famous books was a book called The History of Shaolin and Wutang. And in it, he pretty much destroyed the myths that surround those particular you know, um, places in, in martial arts history in, in China, those particular temples. Particularly, he destroyed the myths that you know Shaolin was the birthplace of all martial arts and Wudang is the birthplace of all internal arts. And both those myths, despite the fact that people still believe them today, aren't true. <laughs> And other historians since then have proven this. But because he dared to actually say that, he was attacked like crazy. I mean, and seriously, at one point, he was facing death threats over it, to the point where his kung fu brother had to step in and, you know, face the challengers. And they didn't, and he ended up smoothing things over. It ended up not being a physical altercation, but this is how bad it got. I'm a little bit reminded of that now when I look over my martial arts myths videos, particularly the ones on ninjutsu. I like to call my ninjutsu videos my moron magnet videos because ever since I put those up, idiots out the, coming out of the woodwork have been doing whatever the fuck it takes to try to say that I'm wrong for pointing out that the myths that they believe in ninjutsu are just that. Myths. It doesn't take much reading and research to figure this shit out. And you even don't have to know too much. All you need to do is pick up a couple of key facts and start using your logical skills to figure out that some of the claims and some of the people making these claims aren't legit. By the way, I'm not putting myself in the same category as Tong Ho. He was a much better historian and much more um, qualified to do this type of thing than I was. And it's not like I'm receiving death threats. I'm, I'm not in the same league as that dude. But I'm sort of seeing the same thing he did in that you come out and tell the truth about martial arts and because people want to believe in fantasy, they'll call you the idiot. Before I go on, I want to mention that the reason why I'm doing this is because of the latest bunch of comments I got on the fourth part of my videos on ninjutsu, particularly where I start talking about a few key well-known ninja figures in the ninjutsu world who pretty much look like they're fakes. Now, I'm not saying that they're fakes because I'm trying to make myself look better despite what some people have claimed particularly a so-called master of Taekwondo, who I'm wondering why, if he studies Taekwondo, he's trying to comment on a ninjutsu video, but hey, what the hell. I'm not doing this to make myself look big, and I'm not doing this to try to say that I'm some great master. No, it's because, as a martial artist myself, I am sick and tired of seeing BS being said about martial arts. It's a physical skill. You have to practice physical skills in order to get good at a physical skill, period. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence and it's something that many of us have heard before and many of these guys making these extraordinary claims have not put up the right evidence because they haven't they're suspected to be fakes and as years went on and other martial artists started questioning them on their credentials they found those credentials to either be lacking or non-existent and this is something that I pointed out in that video and I think I pointed it out fairly well plus I put up links on the goddamn video description for you to look up yourself but apparently that's not enough for some people. I love it when these guys later on try to yell at me saying, I want you to come up with proof or references or show those so-called masters who can prove these guys are fakes. Guys, that's not how debate works. The burden of proof belongs in the guy making the original claim. In this instance, the people making the original claims are these fakes who I pointed out. Guys like Ashida Kim and Frank Dukes. And I'm still surprised that in this day and age there are people still trying to defend these guys. They made the original claim, claiming that they were masters of a secret, hidden, shadowy art, and, you know, and that you know they got credentials from it through some unknown master, and they had the lineage and all this stuff to prove it and the techniques to prove it. Well, if they do, people like me were like, okay, prove it. 
They have not been able to prove it satisfactorily, if at all. Thus the suspicion, the burden of proof lies on them. It does not lie on people like me who are suspicious of it. It's pretty much the same thing as somebody claiming that they're unicorns and someone like me goes, okay, prove that they're unicorns, show me one. And they can't show me one, but then the people who want to believe in it come to me and go, well, prove that there isn't one. That's not how logic works. Use your brains. If you can't use your brains, don't come over here trying to debate me on a subject that you apparently know very little about, despite the fact that you're trying to say that I don't. I did the reading. You're the ones who want to believe fakes. Who do you think is going to know a little bit more? The guy who's willing to just simply believe what one person says, or the person who's looking at what a whole bunch of other people said and cross-reference what they said to see if it makes any sense. By the way, it's because I like cross-referencing references and looking at claims that my the latest um, martial arts myth videos that I wanted to do, the ones on Chi, has still not come out yet because I've been doing a little bit more researching and cross-referencing things, and things that I was about to say in that video, I now have to double-check to make sure they're correct. I want to make sure that what I'm researching is correct before I say it. Now, having said all this, instead of going point by point with all the stupid things that have been said under my videos with under ninjutsu at the time, if I do that, this is going to be like a three or four part, four part video, and I'm tired of doing those. Instead, no. What I'm going to do is issue a simple challenge, a very simple challenge. To all those who claim that the stuff I put out on my ninjutsu vids, particularly on the fakes, is bullshit, okay, I invite you to show me up on it. Educate me. I claim that there is no evidence whatsoever that these guys are the ninja masters that they claim. I claim that they have not been able to provide a correct lineage, they have not been able to show where they truly got their techniques from, and they have been called out by other people, particularly dudes like, you know, guys like Frank Dukes who have been called out by certain magicians to say that many of the things that he's done wasn't real, that they helped to rig some of his tricks to make it look like what he was doing was real. You guys say that that's all BS. Okay, prove me wrong. Remember, the burden of proof actually lies upon you guys since you're supporting the people making the, the original claim. I'm claiming that it doesn't exist. You guys saying it does exist, so you have to show me it exists. The proof. Prove to me that these guys actually are legit. Show me where they got their training from. They should be able to provide that for you. They should be able to tell you who trained them, what lineage they came under, who trained them, what particular, what's the particular name of their style from ancient times. Just because you call something like, for instance, Frank Dukes Ryu, doesn't necessarily mean that it's supposed to be created straight from a vacuum unless he made it up himself, which is likely, and if he made it up himself and admits it, then there's nothing for me to say. But he's claiming he got it from some ninja master and he just renamed it. Okay, fine. Who was that ninja master? What was the original name of the style? What families in Japan originally practiced it? And what was the lineage? Who taught who, who taught whom, who taught whom, who taught whom? You should be able to do that. Take, for instance, a guy named Dr. Yang Dring Ming, a Chinese-style martial artist. He's not a ninja, but this is a good example. He claims to be a master of several Chinese martial arts. People will go prove it. He will then give you a list of masters who you could look up, and through them you can find their masters, who find their masters, who find their masters, who taught them, who taught them, and you can see that it's legit. No one's calling him a fake because he's been able to prove it. Same thing with Adam Xu. When he claims that he knows certain martial arts and people go, well, who taught you? Well, this guy taught me, and this guy taught him, and this guy taught him, and this was the style that I studied, and this style was passed on, and this, that, that, and this. And you can look it up and see that, yeah, it's verifiable, it's provable. So, for those guys of you who say that, well, it's provable with these guys too. Here's your challenge. From, the, from now until, I'll give you guys two months from when I post this video up. You punks have two months to come up with verifiable evidence that the people I named in that fourth video of mine on the Ninja series are legit. Show me who their master is. Show me the lineage. Show me what st style, what family came through. And basically just show me the evidence that these guys are legit. And show me that this stuff cannot be, you know, disputed. It's verifiable. You've cross-referenced it. You've either you've called these guys yourself or you know someone else or you've read about someone else who called these people up. There's something charted down. Do that. And then either PM it to me, make a video about it, put it in the, in, um, in the comment section, whatever, of this video. 
Show me your proof. You got two months. If by two months you fuckers can't do it, shut the fuck up. From then on, if you guys can't do it after this two months is up, anybody who's going to be posting under those videos saying that I'm full of shit instantly gets banned. Instant ban. It's time to put up or shut up. I put up links on the side. I even under this latest commenter gave him a list of books to read. I'm tired of doing my homework for you guys. Now it's up to you to prove it. Prove that I'm wrong. You got two months. Good luck.